City Council wrapped up discussion on several agenda items that could leave a big impact on the community. Six News Johan Moran is on your side tonight, keeping track of those items for us. He joins us live in the studio. Johan, what's the latest? What can you tell us? John and Jacqueline, just minutes into their meeting today, city officials talked about the mayor's veto on an ordinance targeting vehicles parked on grass. The city council passed the ordinance last week, allowing police to issue a $50 fine to violators. However, the mayor then vetoed it. She said it creates confusion about enforcement and said vehicles with expired registrations must be included and the exception for holidays should be eliminated. This afternoon, the council had the option to override the veto, but no motion was taken. Councilman Hug, who proposed the ordinance, says this doesn't mean it's dead. Uh, it, it's moved into a, another phase. I look forward to working with the mayor and uh, I, I, from the communication I received from the mayor, she has acknowledged that uh, she's in agreement that we do have an issue, we do have a problem that we need to address. And uh, you know, I'll be meeting with her in the future, and I look forward to working with her to come up with something that uh, works for everybody. The City Council also approved several items clearing the way for redevelopments along 120th and Ford Streets. Those include the Roanoke Business Park, Tranquility Park, and the entertainment venue Chicken and Pickle. Officials are also considering adding a new job position called the Sports Complex Manager. This is someone who will oversee two new sports facilities, one at Tranquility Park and the other Levi Carter Park. This will be discussed in the next city council meeting. John, Jacqueline.